Hello and welcome to another how-to video by Blom FPV. Today I will be doing a how-to video on wiring up your Matec Hub OSD, which is pretty sweet. Um, in case you don't know what it can tell you, it's basically a PDB power distribution board with a current meter that measures the current that you're busy pulling with a current limit of 140 amps as well as how many milliampere hours you have used thus far and therefore you will never break another battery by over discharging it it also shows you the current voltage of your battery and the flight time and when you land after a few seconds it will show you the maximum amps that have was drawn at one point in time as well as how what your minimum voltage was on your battery that way you can monitor voltage sag on your battery when you're doing a full punch out this is the drone x labs diablo racing frame it weighs something like 53 grams carbon only and at the moment it's facing forward that way so i would like to mount this in such a way so that my battery xc60 connector faces backwards so that is the only way that i can mount it in the package you also get this capacitor now this will go between positive and negative as close to your battery so power source as possible and this will remove any oscillations in current that your battery delivers to your power distribution board now hopefully you can see but on this PDB you have your battery terminal which is connected to each of the power wires that will go to your ESC you have a ground here and VCC now VCC is basically connected to the positive of your battery you have an extra 5 volts and a ground here that you can connect your flight controller to if you want to or anything else and an extra 12 volts over here this is where your video will go now the great thing about this PDB is that it's basically just as simple as the previous Matic PDB or any other PDBs whereby you can just wire up your cam and your VTX to it and it's basically ready to go by default however the important part is that you should connect your camera video wire or signal wire to this point and your VTX signal wire to this point there's another 12 volt and 5 volt here either for your cam or your VTX depending on which it requires usually your camera can take 5 to something 20 volts so you can connect it here or there it shouldn't really make a difference and most VTX's other than the Unify Pro can take 12 volts so let's get started Now for the important part, as you can see here, this VTX has a all-in-one power cable that connects to the VTX and directly to your HS1177 camera. Now I'm going to have to cut this off to connect these points to the necessary video camera point on the PDB and I'll have to connect this part, which is the VTX, other half to the VTX solder point get it in here like so now it's good to remember that this was the power out to the camera from the VTX and that won't, won't be necessary any longer because we've got power into the camera from here so I can remove these two cables. So the camera video goes to the cam solder point. Camera ground goes just to the left 
of the cam solder point and camera power can go to either 5 or 12 volt but I will use 5 volt for my camera and then for the VTX so I don't use audio in my VTX that is why the audio and ground is is connected this is always good practice because your audio on the VTX if it's not connected to ground or a microphone then it sends out a lot of noise that could be very annoying to a lot of people when you're flying together especially at races and then power to my VTX goes there and video to VTX goes there and ta-da there we go now it's always good practice to put some hot glue on these connectors let me just zoom in so you can have a look let's go over these connections again so that is 5 volt power to the camera that is ground to my camera and that is video to my camera that is 12 volt to my VTX that is ground to my VTX and my VTX audio output and this is video to my VTX now the magic happens between this output and this this input and this output so the input from the camera is then processed by the Matic hub OSD and all of the information necessary information is overlaid onto the image which is then sent out to your VTX and received by your goggles I hope this review helps you and I'm gonna carry on wiring this up and you can have a look if you want to maybe get some tips on how I do it which will make life a little bit easier for some of you.